In education, fractions are one of the leading causes for difficulty among students. In this video, I'm going to address one of the leading misconceptions about fractions. Students can use fraction strips to help them understand that just because the denominator is larger does not necessarily mean that the fraction itself is larger. To start off with, you can give students a couple unit fractions and ask them to place them in order. So I can say 1 fifth and 1 twelfth and ask students to tell me which one is greater. Then you have students put the fractions in order by stacking them. Clearly 1 fifth would show that it's bigger than 1 twelfth. Then you can ask students about 1 sixth and 1 eighth. They would pull out the fractions and stack them on top of each other and see that one sixth is bigger than one eighth, even though six is a smaller denominator. After students have grasped the concept of the, just two fractions, you can move on to three or more. You could give students the fraction one tenth, one fourth, and one fifth and ask them to place them from least to greatest. By stacking the fractions on top of each other, they can see that one-fourth is bigger than one-fifth and one-fifth is bigger than one-tenth. A way to assess students or collect data on this would be to have the students write down their answers on a sheet of paper to turn in at the end of the assignment. If students have grasped this concept, you can move on to larger fractions such, such as three-fifths, Five tenths, and two twelfths, and ask them to order them from least to greatest. By stacking the fraction strips on top of each other, you can see that even though fifths is the smallest denominator, they're actually larger fractions. This video is a great example to help you use fraction strips with your students.